Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. My name is Becky and this is the Magical Rebekumi channel. Thank you again so much for being here today. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Today is a super fun pin tag about the Super Bowl. So the big game. I'm super excited. Actually, this is hosted, this was created and hosted by Magical Disney Pals. So Kelly and Brayden over at Magical Disney Pals. Um, I was watching their channel i was watching them do this pin tag and before anything you before their video had just started and i was like you know what y'all i'm doing this pin tag so you can watch me do it and then later they were like anybody who wants to do it can do it because i had not yet been invited to do it to do, to do this pin tag but i was just like you know what i'm gonna do it um sorry for the glare on my new glasses guys <laughs> there's gonna be some adjustments um, I might have to, I don't know. We'll figure it out because glasses are new to me. So there might be some glare occasionally and I apologize for that. Uh, I will try to avoid that, but it's going to be a lot of me going up and down and bobbing around trying to figure out where to be to avoid the glare. So it'll be a little bit weird for a little bit. Sorry guys. So, um, I was watching this fun um, pin tag and knew I needed to be involved. So thank you very much, Kelly and Brayden, for throwing it out there to anybody who wants to do it because I for sure jump, wanted to jump on board on this pin tag and I was going to do it whether I had permission or not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm a huge football fan. It's my favorite sport. Um, and, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this tag. All right, so the first tag is tailgate. So you show a food, a pin with food on it. So the first one I have, and I only have like dessert, um, dessert pins. So this one is the one that I chose. He's one of my favorite sidekicks, but also there's cake on there, which is one of my favorite foods. So this is my tailgate. Pin. So, tailgating is the pre-part pre-game party. So when you go to a tailgate, there's like lots of food, and you're literally like tailgating in a parking lot, having like people bring their grills and grill up, whatever. So that's what tailgating is. I promised people that I would give them um, information because a lot of people who have been doing this have been less knowledgeable about this um, football, so I th told them that I would give them information about football. So bear with me if you know about football. If you don't, maybe this will be education educational for you. So anyway, so tailgate, food, that's the pin on the pin board. So let's move on. Next is the coin toss. So at the beginning of the game, the two teams... Um, the referee's there, the referee flips a coin, and the teams choose heads or tails. And whoever wins the coin toss, they get to decide if they're going to kick first, or kick the ball first, or receive the ball first. So that is the coin toss. Um, and the theme well, this one was to show a coin, or a round, or a spinner pin. So I did something different. I chose a spinner pin because this pin is certainly not round, but this was from Magic Launch Bay. I got this in a um, pin advent calendar a few years ago. And the door is fun because you see Boo, or not Boo, you see Sully on one side, and then on the other side, it's a door. And this pin does glow in the dark. It weirds me out every night at, when I go to sleep because I forget that it glows in the dark. So, but it is a spinner pin. This thing spins and it's pretty cool. So, it's a super fun pin and yeah. So that is the coin toss because it is a spinner. All right, next up is flag. So there's a penalty on the play. So. When there's a flag on the play, something somebody did something that they shouldn't have done. So the it is show a flag or a country pin. I don't have any country pins. I do have 
two flag pins and I chose one and I know it's boring but I still I have the make the castle in flag form and of course it's an American flag so that is my flag pin and so there we go all right next up is red zone so thank you Ben from Melic Adventures this one I was less familiar with I figured red zone meant into the scoring so a team was about to score but I wasn't sure like the boundaries so when I so thank you Ben for enlightening me on this situation and saying that it was within the 20 yard line so the team that's about to score they're in the red, red zone and they are 20 at the 20 yard line so that's what that means um, and there's like so in the middle of the field you've got the 50 yard line and then it goes down to the 10 goes down to 10 on both sides so that's what that means so that so you're supposed to show a red pin so I chose Iago I have a few red pins but this one I thought was most unique so since he is a red parrot or a red bird I'm not sure if he's a parrot or not but so that is my red pin for the red zone so these are the first four pins in this there are 11 prompts total so that is that so pick six pick six is the next um prompt and the pick six is when um the quarterback throws the ball but the defense team the team on the de on defense they get the ball they catch the ball and they run it in for a touchdown so six points so that is a pick six and the prompt for this one is to show a pin of the sensation one of the sensational six i chose a pin that has two of the sensational six on them because they're one of my most favorites and this is a really beautiful pin so i chose this pin that has daisy and minnie in a dandy outfit so this is one of my favorite pins and I could not choose between Mickey or Minnie or so I found this one and I was like ooh that would be perfect so I'm showing two of the two of the sensational six so I've got Minnie and Daisy there for the pick six and that was a fun one all right next up is secondary so a sidekick so a secondary is if somebody like the quarterback gets injured, they have the secondary quarterback. So the secondary comes in. So you pick a sidekick for this particular one. So I chose my boy Doug. This is a um, fantasy pin. Um, I'll, um, but it says squirrel because we know he gets distracted with the squirrels. So I saw this pin and this was one of my fir very first pins. Um and fell in love with it and I got it for myself and my whole family and I see it and I love it and it cracks me up. All right, next is bye week. So show a pin with relaxation. So bye week is when the team has that week off so they don't play a game that week. So hence the relaxation pin. So I chose this one of my boy Stitch. He, I love Stitch, I know he's, he's in either you love him or you hate him, but I really love Stitch. He's one of my biggest collections. And this is him at the beach burying himself in some sand. So he's having some chill, relaxed time. So that is the bye week. And we are at the halfway point. So I'm going to show all of the pins just as a friendly reminder of what all the pins are. Okay, next week is the, or next week, it's late, guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a little tired, my brain is not all here. So, the next one, sorry, is the wild card, so you show your least favorite pin, so wild card in the playoffs is meaning they didn't have the best season, so, but they rallied and they made it the playoffs so they may 
they may or may not make it to the Super Bowl, but that's what kind of what the wild card is. So least favorable um, to win, kind of. Um, so you show your least favorite pin. Now, I do enjoy Duffy and Friends, but I, um, again, this came in the Magic Launch Bay. So this pin came, is uh, from Hong Kong Disneyland. And I do enjoy Duffy, but this is not my most favorite pin. But I do, I do like it, but it's not, not my favorite pin. So that's why I chose it as my least favorite pin. And I wasn't sure if it was like pins that we are, were on our pin board or pins that were up for trade. Um, I decided to go for one that was on my pin board. So for now, I like, I mean, I don't hate him, but he, he's, he's less meaningful to me. So that's why. He's a least favorite wild card pin for me to choose. Okay, so the next up is the touchdown celebration. So show a pin with, um, sorry, either dancing or I totally just yawned, guys. Sorry, <laughs> I tried to save it, um, but I'm just being real. <laughs> it's late and I'm tired, but I wanted to get this one out of the way. I wanted to film this video, so show a touchdown celebration so a either a pin with, a, with dancing or a pin with movement and i decided to show my favorite pin i bought this whole set for this pin in particular um it is the dancing sidekicks and you've got timon doing the hula dance when he's singing that song trying to distract the hyenas and he's not happy about it but it's like one of the most hilarious scenes in any disney movie and I love the song that he sings. So that is my touchdown celebration pin with a dancing character. All right. Uh, this prompt I also loved. It is the Hail Mary. Um, so this pin, meaning a Hail Mary can go either way. It's like... Uh, you're, it's the end of the game and you're trying to do anything you can to win. So you're going to throw a ball a very, very long distance um, in hopes that it can get you into the end zone for a, field, for a touchdown. So um, the prompt, the theme for this one was the best or worst deal that you got on a pin. Now, I apologize, this is a Christmas pin, um, but Donald is my favorite, favorite, most favorite of the, of the, sensa of the sensational Fab Five. He's my favorite character. Um, so I knew I needed to get this one. I decided to go with the worst deal that I got that you could get on a pin, because I paid, you know what, I'm not even ashamed to admit it. This pin is beautiful, totally worth the $75 that I paid for this pin. I bought this pin from um, your WDW store. Not even sorry because I knew once I saw this pin that I needed to have it. I love it. It's got stained glass effect on it. It is um, the Candlelight Processional from 2018 and it says Disneyland Resort. So this is the pin that I got. So. Yeah, I paid 75 bucks for this pin. Probably too much, but I love it and I don't care. So well, most people have been showing pins that they, they've been doing the best deal that they got, but I'm showing the worst deal that I got. And I'm not even sorry for it because I do love this pin a lot. And it has two, um, two pin posts on the back. So, but yeah, that is the worst deal. So in my case, I would have lost, I would have not gotten the Hail Mary. It would have been an epic failure, but work, pin is totally worth it. All right. And the last one is the GOAT. The greatest of all time is what the GOAT stands for. 
So it is your most favorite pin. Now, this was really, really hard. I know that a lot of people with the, in this tag had a very hard time with this pin, and I'm getting emotional already. It's weird. Um, so I was at Disneyland in 2019, and I was not into collecting pins at that point in time. But my brother and my mom, who I was there with, um, saw this pin, and... Um, they bought it and they, actually I, I did buy, I think I did buy one pin when I was there. Anyway, I did not buy this pin, but I loved it. And, um, this was the pin that kind of made me create, start collecting pins, um, or want to start collecting pins. So that is why it's my favorite pin. And this one's kind of hard to show, but it is the Up House um, with a bunch of marbles as the balloons. So I'm gonna have to hold, to hold the pin, to hold it, but I love this pin. Now this top pin, this right here, is, um, like marble-esque, but it also has a pin back, so it's got metal on the back, and this is the back of the pin. And it is just beautiful, and I love it. It's got it's colorful and it's just a really cool pin. I love the marble effect that it had the effect the marbles have on it. And this one I chose as my favorite pin because this kind of started me wanting to collect pins. So that is this. That is the end of this pin tag. So thank you very much, Kelly again, Kelly and Braden for Magical Disney Pals for inviting anybody who wants to do this to tag to do it because yeah I really wanted to do it obviously because whether or not I was invited or not I was gonna do it anyway so I was one of those ask forgiveness later type of deals um but so yeah so we've got tailgate coin toss flag red zone pick six secondary bye week wild card touchdown celebration hail mary and the goat greatest of all time so these are again all of the pins that I chose for this pin tag and it was a lot of fun and I do pin tags are one of my favorite videos because it's fun to go through and interpret and see what people interpret for themselves so I hope you guys got a little bit of an education in football if you are less familiar with football um, my buddy Solomon says hi so, um, just a quick reminder for myself, uh, I recently reached 100 subscribers, so there will be a giveaway, so be on the lookout for that. I will give a huge announcement, but I wanted to give you a heads up that we have reached the 100 mark, and I'm super excited, and I want to thank you guys so much for, um, I'm going to take these off, sorry, this, bug, this bear is bugging me. So, where was I? Oh yeah, the giveaway. So thank you so much for subscribing and watching and just being your awesome selves. I appreciate you guys so, so much for getting me to 100 subscribers and you guys are awesome and I love you so much. So be on the lookout for that big giveaway announcement. Um, and until next time, guys, good shooters. Oh, I should tag somebody. Um... You know what? I'm just going to do the same thing that Kelly and Braden did. Anybody who sees this video and wants to do it, do it. It's super fun. It's always fun to see what people come up with. Um, also, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and what was your favorite pin of my pin tag? Um, yeah, we know mine because it's the goat. But, um, yeah, leave a comment on to what your favorite tag favorite pin was and if you're gonna do let me know if you're gonna do it because I would love to watch what you guys do so yeah until next time guys thanks for watching good to shooters